you ever get a haircut and they just kind of like fuck it up pretty badly? <laughs> I guess it wasn't too bad. What's going on guys? <laughs> Sorry for that little thing. I actually just got done recording a video, but I think I'm gonna upload that earlier. Dude, this girl got hair all down my back. Like, how do you do that? So I completely forgot to make a six month review video of my car, like I was planning on doing. So now I'm just gonna fucking switch it up on you guys. And I'm gonna give you a 10,000 a 10,000 mile review. I just hit 10,000 miles on my car. I just hit 10,000 miles on my car. Actually, I'm at 10,500, so I, I, I missed that too. But I'm closer to 10,000 miles in six months because I've had this car for seven months now. Now I have uh, things I love, things I hate video about my car, but I'm definitely gonna make those again because you know I've had the car longer, so I think it would be more appropriate to do it now. Overall though, after you know, seven months, 10,000 miles, I'm still absolutely in love with this car. Car. And now that I'm starting to make a little bit more power than before, it just makes me love it even more. And then I'm gonna start putting more into it and I'm gonna destroy it, but hopefully I still love the car. Now, firstly, this isn't even gonna be like really related to my car, but what my car has brought me. So in this 10,000 miles, I have gained so many friends. So, so many friends. I've gained a lot of people with common interests. I've met a lot of smaller YouTubers. I've met a lot of people off of Instagram just by having this car and sparking conversation. I've just met a lot of really cool people. And that is really cool to me because I didn't think, you know, a stupid hobby like my car would actually do that much for me. Now, problems I've actually had with the car. I honestly don't think I've had any. I haven't had any. One check engine light yet, which in 10,000 miles, I think it's pretty good. Cause when I had my dart, I was getting check engine lights every other, like I was having check engine lights every other week. So I haven't had any mechanical issues. The only issues I have had was from things that I've done to the car. Like my end link, when um, I was, my, when I put my coilovers on, I didn't tighten my end link down all the way. And that's making a lot of clanking noise. And that's the only real issue I've had with the car. Everything else, I'm gonna say are like minor, minor, minor issues. And when I say minor issues, I'm saying about like the rattling. That's a BRZ problem that every BRZ has though. So I completely expected to have those problems. You know, I, I really, I, I expected them. This car is not the fastest car. Um, in theory, I'm making, I think like 225 now to the wheel or to the block. Is that true? I don't know. My car feels a lot better in the top end than it did before. So I'm gonna say it might be true. I want to get my car tuned still, but we're, we're, we're waiting on money though. Watch my last video with the problems I'm having with YouTube and I'll explain everything with my YouTube problems. But, you know, I, I bought this car ex not expecting the fastest car in the world. It's a lot faster than my last car, so this is a fast car to me. I mean, it's not like super duper, like holy shit, this is fast, but it's faster than what, I, what I'm used to. That's what I'm trying to say. The only problems I've really had on the outside of the vehicle is when I hit the little ledge and like knocked in that one part of my bumper, which isn't really noticeable after you wash it, but you know, it's still, it's still there and I know it's there. And the, the color black on the car. Um, I, I do have a few minor scratches on the car. I'm not sure if it's just like, if it's down just past clear coat if it's actually in the paint, I'm really not sure. But this car seems to, to scratch a little bit easy in some spots. I think all those scratches I actually have are on my trunk, which is kind of a weird spot to get scratches on, but that's where my scratches are. And having black paint, I mean, I, I can't really complain about that because that was my own fault for wanting a black car. This car is always fucking dirty and it's really hard to get, get clean after it's been dirty. I daily this car and I drive, and it's winter time right now. There's snow everywhere, the roads are super salty, you clean it, you're dirty again. So the black paint is definitely a complaint. Black paint is a complaint, oh. But that's, uh, some things in the car definitely need to be changed. Like the dome light I changed out, watch my video, that's gonna be two videos ago now, when I actually change it out, because the stock halogen ones are a little bit ridiculously dim. And then they have a package you can buy, I think it's like a hundred bucks for the package, so it's ridiculously expensive that you really don't, need. I got some $20 at litlights.com, which I do have a discount code for you. I believe it's lit10. I think it's lit10. I'll, I'll make sure I, I put it in there because I'm not really sure if that's it or not. But it was a $20 light and that's with shipping and it's super bright and changes colors and does everything that's really cool. Now this car is definitely like not the quietest inside. I mean, if you leave it stock, like your exhaust is stock, it's not bad. It actually, your exhaust makes like no noise at all. It's like annoyingly quiet, but I, I kind of wish that you know, having this car, you kind of learn to live with it. You learn which RPM range to stay out of, to stay wider in your cabin. The cabin is quite loud. Like, I mean, you can hear it. 
but the exhaust is like overwhelming. You have to play your music without being loud. That's the second, that's another complaint I got too, is this, the speakers, I haven't upgraded them, and they're not the best bass-wise. They're not bad by any means, just by bass-wise, they're not great. But again, since I've had this car all 10,000 miles, I haven't had one issue yet, like mechanical, and I'm still absolutely in love with this car. Winter drivability is definitely a big thing with this car, and now that I am lower, my center of gravity is a bit lower, and I get more traction now. I'm still running on my stock summer performance tires, so I'm not really sure if winter tires makes a big difference. I've heard that this car is actually very good in the snow. It's very good in the snow if you have the proper tires, which I obviously don't. But I've been driving around all winter fine. I drove in a couple inches of snow the other day when we had a big snowstorm here, and I didn't really slide around too much. That was my first time driving in the snow since I've been low. And yeah, it just hasn't really been bad at all. It's definitely doable. I would suggest getting different tires for it because these tires have a big slick strip down the center of it, which definitely doesn't help when it's slippery outside. Definitely, if you're gonna buy this car, I would just make sure you do your research first. Watch videos like mine for modification or just drivability of the car. I definitely did a lot of research before I got this car and that definitely helped make my decision easier. I mean, I knew I wanted this car from the get-go. Just a car I've always wanted to have. And you gotta not ride my ass like that, please. It's a car I've always wanted to have, and I'm still absolutely in love with this car. But just make sure you're watching your videos to know what to expect, like the rattling. Apparently there's condensation issues with the taillights, but this is past 2017, so they redid the taillights, and I haven't had any condensation issues with them. I think they're completely sealed, actually, so I don't think there's like a way for water even get in there in general. Just make sure you're doing your research before buying the car. I would recommend the car, but that's just me. Now I'm gonna step out of my car just to get a different change of scenery because I think it's kind of pretty out here right now. My battery just died. I now it's gonna get windy all of a sudden. What the hell? There's cops out here today too. I hope they don't like yell at me for recording out here. But yeah, overall, I am still absolutely in love with this car 10,000 miles later. This car is the best car I've ever owned. Mechanically, just everything about it. Hey man, I'm vlogging here. Don't give me weird looks. <laughs> These geese are like flying towards me right now. They're like, they're running on ice to get to me. Probably got like eggs and shit over here. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> yeah, but 10,000 miles in. This video is probably gonna be super duper short. All my videos have been super duper short lately. I apologize for that. They'll be getting better. I just gotta get money. These geese are trying to get a little. There's geese everywhere. What are you guys doing? Guys, I'm in, I'm in like a standoff with some geese right now. They're coming from all angles right now, and they're like, they're really close. Boys, I'm about to get jumped by some geese. Yo, you stay away, you goose. I see you coming. They're coming from all angles, boys. Because I don't know what to be with these geese, but I'm like attracting them like all the time. It's crazy. <laughs> Look at all of them, man. All the final nights are all staring at me. They're coming from this side, too. Guys, it's a standoff. I'm getting attacked by, what are you doing? Flapping your wings at me? Guys, I'm about to get attacked by some geese. They're coming from across the road now. They're coming from across the ice. I'm trying to review my car, guys. Can I can I just do that? I got back in my car because they're like, they're starting to surround me. I'm just trying to review my car. I'm getting, I'm, I'm getting attacked by geese. It's just, it's not like a situation, boys. That was a close one, boys. We just got, we just got eaten by some geeses. But you know, 10,000 miles later, I am still in love with this car. I have no problems with it, no buyer's remorse. I don't care how much it costs. I just, I really love this car still. And pretty much everyone I've talked to that owns this car, they all see the same thing. It's all snowy right here. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna try to do donuts because knowing me, I'm gonna hit one of these like snow banks and break my bumper off. She's still standing pretty, even though she's all salty right now. I have no regrets about this car. I would say it's the best car I've ever owned. Even out of my family, I think it's the best car. Only thing is also, these Brimbo brakes, they squeak a lot in the winter. Apparently it's a Brimbo brake thing. I don't know. That's all I really have for this video, guys. I'm, this video is probably short. I, ha I don't know, I haven't edited yet. Sorry if it's really short again. I'm trying to get some content going. I'm talking to a few companies right now, so content should be flowing a little bit stronger soon enough. Thanks for watching, guys. Comment, like, subscribe. Just do all, do all the fun shit. You know what that is. It's all like subscribing and sharing with all your friends. That's the fun shit. Do the fun shit. Um, I'll catch you guys next time. Keep doing you guys, and peace out. Peace.